So we just ended up kind of getting some very big news about the first beta of iOS 18. Now this is going to be iOS 18 beta 1. This is not going to be the official version. And the big thing you're going to have to remember with this version of software and this device is that with these types of phones, you are basically going to be getting a very big update and a very big change than the previous generation. So this is something that's actually pretty crazy because on the previous devices that we had, you know, I would say iOS 16, iOS 17, even iOS 15, like those types of software updates weren't massive. I think iOS 14 was a pretty big update and I think iOS 16 was also pretty big, but they were like monstrously insane updates that were like so hard to fathom. This update from what everyone's kind of stating and what everyone's suggesting, everyone's saying that this is like one of the biggest updates of all time. And this makes me think that this is going to be a pretty crazy update in and of itself. Now, first thing, the release date of this particular update, as of you know this point, we're probably going to get the first beta of this particular update probably around June 10th. This is what some people were stating. You know, it looks like WWDC is coming around June 10th. We already have the invites. So it's pretty much confirmed that the first beta of this thing should be announced around you know, June 10th. We should be able to install it within a few days after that. So probably no later than a week after that particular announcement, we should be able to get that version of software installed on our supported devices. Now the supported devices on this particular perspective, they're gonna be kind of, you know, we really don't know 100% which one's going to be which, but if we had to kind of guess, I'm probably gonna say that the iPhone 10s, 10R, and 10s Max are probably not going to get iOS 18. Again, I could be totally wrong, and I kind of hope I am wrong because then we can get, you know, still supported devices. But as at this point, we're not 100% too sure. But in this particular case, we're not 100% too sure. And because of that, we're probably going to end up getting these types of phones, these types of devices, maybe not on that version of software. So just keep that in mind, not the end of the world but the supported devices are probably going to be all the iPhone 11s and newer. Now on top of that, there are so many people stating and suggesting about basically what this next version of software is going to entail. And there's a lot of different changes and improvements that we can actually add within this particular you know, update as well. So all of those AI features, all those you know software improvements here and there, those are going to be implemented also, a lot of people are stating that there's going to be very big changes when it comes down to their whole entire home screen and UI elements as well. So that is going to be another very big change here too. So there's a lot of things all across the board here. I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm you know ecstatic about this particular update and I generally cannot wait for it to come out. Just know that there could be a chance where some of these device softwares, you know, these devices could end up getting drop support. So keep that in mind. But other than that, it should be a very, very big update for sure. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.